Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, the minister. So, please. you know, I want to speak to y'all about something today. And it's, I think it's a pretty heavy subject, and I think a lot of us don't like to give enough time or respect to this particular feeling, particular word, and to who we are, or what we experience, I should say, and that is trauma. Trauma like fear can really, really do some wreak havoc on your nervous system, and it can wreak havoc on your life. And there's just way too many folks uh, walking around um, in the throes of trauma. Now, according to the DSM-5, trauma does not mean or, um, yeah, it doesn't mean that everything that you experience has to happen to you per se. Being traumatized can work vicariously through someone else. In other words, you can hear of a situation so terrible, so egregious, so messed up that it invokes a certain amount of shock to your nervous system, a certain amount of dis-ease to your being, okay? And so... Your job is to try to navigate through as less trauma as possible and then be able to recognize when you are operating totally in a pain body, stressed out body, especially in the inner cities because we've normalized it. Now, number one, to all black people everywhere, under the sound of my voice, you are going to have to stop making these damn graveyard neighborhoods. It's got to stop. Okay. You know, somebody did a show, one of these content creators, about the things that black people need to stop doing for their mental health sake. And that's one of them. We need to stop with all the god darn freaking fracking ass uh, pictures and shit taped to the damn trees with candles and liquor and shit. What the hell is wrong with us? Look at it. Do you see any other community responding like this to trauma? This is so damn crazy. It's almost like we glorifying this shit. We done made a makeshift. We can't get no attention no kind of damn way. We feel so worthless. So I got to bring my grandbabies and great grandbabies and kids out the door and children. And they got to see nothing but a living freaking shrine to death. In their innocent, pure little world, we don't have no thought to what we putting into our garbage, we putting into our children's mind. Um, we don't even have a thought to it. That's why half of us don't even need to be no damn parents. The way we traumatize our kids, have babies by everybody, the people next door, the people all around the block and say, because I can afford them, that's cool. But the children don't have no stability. They don't have stability within themselves because there's no confidence when you can't watch your pyramids grow and instill it together as a unit. It don't work that way, big pimping. And for those of y'all who know who I'm talking about, good, the shoe fit, wear it. I'm so sick of these fools talking about, well, if I can afford them, I, I, I can have as many as I want. Or I'm getting ready to die soon, so I'm going to have... Well, then why don't you think about your damn child? And why don't you work with the ones you got here? You having them all over the place before you die, don't solid, don't solidify your freaking life, you idiot. Having spirit children is a spiritual concept, but we so far away from it. And then claim to be fake woke. This garbage behavior... That we participate in. I ain't talking to nobody right now but those who know what I'm talking about. 
I'm not calling out nobody's name personally. Because in our community, all we do is deny and lie. Deny and lie. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the trauma. I'm sick of the uh, glorification of the goddamn trauma. And I'm sick and tired of you damn movies taking a uh, damn uh, 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 shrines and putting them out for the living to have to see how many people we have lost in a battle for nothing. Not no battle for liberation. Probably because you had more weight and you sold some shit on my corner that you shouldn't have did and you might have hit my girl up when you shouldn't have touched her and this, that, or this nigga belonged to me and I did this. That kind of stupid stuff. They all up and down the neighborhoods. Yeah, I'm talking raw today. And I really don't give a damn. Because I'm sick of it. And just to give you an example how the trauma works. I've had two brothers and two sisters murdered, so I really don't give a damn what y'all think about it. Other than either you fund me or you ain't. Right? Either you understand what I'm talking about and I'm coming from the space of a person that's been traumatized by other individuals that look like them. At least they're human. It ain't like no dog that uh, uh, mauled somebody to death or a giraffe or a bird or an elephant. It's another human being. And more specifically, one that looked just like them. Killed them dead. Just like the DSM said, every time I hear about a stabbing, my heart flutters, my stomach gets tight. Every time I hear about a person being shot in the head, shot, taken away from their family, I get traumatized. It's just keep re-traumatizing me over and over and over and over again. Every time I call somebody, and I've called them several times, and if we if if we've made a date to meet up, and um, they haven't done it, or they're off by some, I have to really take myself through a lot of changes because I'm traumatized. So the first thing I think of is this uh, something happened to them. And so for those of y'all who ain't never experienced trauma, fine. Everything may be going good for you right now. Good. Thank God for it. But there's some of us. There's some of us. Who things might not be going so well for us right now. And we can admit the trauma. And we keep trauma re-traumatizing ourselves. And we around people that don't give a damn about the trauma. They think it's normal. Oh, you know, that's just how so-and-so is. Well, they shouldn't be like that. Something wrong. Something is wrong. I shouldn't have to feel that every time you don't respond to a phone call and it's been uh, at least an hour, my mind automatically go to going to your apartment or somebody's apartment and figure and touching the doorknob and the door is open so I know somebody's on the other side of the door and they must be dead. See, this is the kind of stuff that trauma do to you. And I want y'all to know if I'm a grown ass and it does it to me. You think we shaping our baby's mind? <clears throat> if your mind is, because your mind is a terrible thing to waste. And if your mind, your heart, your spirit is all out of balance, you're not going to make a good citizen. You're not going to make a good conversationalist. Oh, maybe in spurts and ribbons. But if you don't address that trauma and be able to get real with what you feel every day and when you hear these things, because these things are not normal, we shouldn't have to go and walk through our neighborhoods and see these things, people. We should petition ourselves to be like, what kind of attention that we need, that we're lacking, that we think that this is it? 
like they said, it's a few things that we that we've outgrown, and maybe we should just put them to the side. And because we travel this life in so much pain, so much damn pain, everything is pain. Police kill us, everybody kill us. They get a, a green pass for killing us. And then when we want to retaliate back, they come down with the full wrath upon us as if we started the shit. That's a lot of suppression that we have to suppress on an everyday basis, just as black people. We have to suppress the anger, the, the madness that from these crazies that are doing shit to us that don't make no sense and can't nobody do nothing about it. That's on one level. Then if you're going to try to get political, you got to look at what's happening right now. You got insurrection is that that's charged the White House. And nobody want to hold them accountable because the people that's in the White House, that's in Congress, that's in the Republican Party, try to take over and take away our democracy. And nobody really want to say it and make it plain. The Republican Party is a party of racists. So now we got to endure that pain, that stress. Because when somebody say they are Republican to me now, when I used to, when, when I knew Republicans, but none of them are claiming that shit now. So I know when I got somebody that claim that right now, it's like to me they claiming gay. And let me know where they stand. Some of y'all might like that kind of living. Some of us are old enough now when we just want some peace. We fought all our life. And we tired. We're tired. Especially the fights ain't even new. Same old shit. Just different day. Different year. Different century. I want to know who understands this thing of trauma. Who amongst us understand how much trauma can have and wreak the havoc it can wreak on your nervous system. Don't be shy. Please leave a comment. You ain't even got to leave your name. Just leave a comment. Talk about get some trauma up out of it, up out of you. And tell me, do you think these neighborhood graveyards are normal? Do you like them? You like it? All up and down the neighborhood. Patron and Hennessy bottles and Remy bottles and all kinds of wine bottles all around the trees and candles and pictures of dead people. Let the dead bury the dead people. Come alive. Be woke for real. Be woke for real. All right, I'm going to go like what you hear. Please like, subscribe, and share. I'd like to thank my new subscribers. Thank y'all for being out there. There's a few of y'all out there. Um, I didn't get a chance to read you guys' names uh, in the last video, so I will get around to it. I don't want y'all to think that I take anything for granted. Or I don't see you out there. Thank you very much for your uh, sub subscription, your subscribership. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing. And above all, um, thank you for being out there. May God bless you and keep you. And I'll see you guys in the uh, next video. Bye-bye.